let an insurance company tell you where to go. It's against the law. Um, it's a law, right? It's, it is a law. I got it on the back of all my cards. I try to tell people that. I leave it on my message on my answer machine because, like I said, when you're steered to these shops, they overload them and your work is shoddy when you get done. But people don't understand that. They get scared because insurance companies tell them they have to go here. Yeah, because you, like yeah, you feel like if you don't. See, and I'm not in with the insurance companies. I'm here for my customers, not the insurance companies. Right. Okay, I'll do the insurance work, but they will do it right for me. But because, you're independent. Yes, I'm independent. Yeah, that's and awesome. They can't, they can't tell me what I to do. It. Yeah, I'll just say, listen, my show, same thing. I don't answer to anybody. If I nope. have my time, do what I want to do. And it's not being a, a brat. It's just but so I don't get that influence. Right. Somebody's like strong arming for content right. or anything else. It's like you with the insurance. Company. I don't want nobody pushing me. On my, when my customer's car is done and done right, then it goes out the door. Right. You're not going to push me to tell me to get it done. That's I'll awesome. extend a, I'll extend the rent a car just because I'll wait until that car's done right. Right. You know, so it's it's all what you take pride in. But I love what I do. And, and people need to know that, too, with the insurance company. Right. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought okay, so I started out. I was 18 years old. I started out in Rainer Chrysler Plymouth in Westfield, New York. Um, they, I went for mechanical, but they put me in a body shop, which I never did body work before. Right. So I told them I never done it, so they said, you teach me. So I... Picked it right up real quick. I really something I like to do. So I started there. I worked there for a couple of years. Right. I went to Dodge City down the street and got more money. And then I went to Show Chevrolet in Jamestown and worked there for quite a few wow. years. And then I've been out here for 35 years. Holy cow. So you kept bopping around. And as yeah. you went from shop to shop, your experience level just kept yes. increasing. So Well, when I come out here to work from Show Chevrolet, I worked for Connie Johnson, the original owner of this place. And I was here for a while. Well, work got slow. He laid me off. His son was here. Naturally, he'd give his son to work. Right. So I went to Florida. And I learned more in Florida. I went to Bradenton, Florida. I worked in Sarasota. Wow. It was awesome experience. And as a car's down there, too. Yeah. Right? And, you know, so I worked on Bentleys, Mercedes, you That's know, cool. all the upper end cars, you know. And I worked in the shop in Sarasota, and it was beautiful. Great shop. Learned a lot. When I came back here after a year down there, right. and then I bought Connie out here. Okay. This was back in 1984. And that's where the C? And CMP D &D. was Connie and Pat Johnson. Gotcha. Okay. So I took the name over, asked me if I wanted to buy it. I go, yeah, I was home a month, and I bought it. <laughs> and I've been here 35 years. Wow, that's crazy. And nobody thought I'd make it. And I nobody love what ever I do. does. Nobody ever does, though. Nobody. I, nobody my yeah. parents, we had a restaurant. It was the same thing. And then we opened up more restaurants. And then we had a tavern. Yeah. It's the same thing. People are just, everybody's a naysayer. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, when you get past your fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth year, that's a good feeling. Oh, yeah. You know? And you're like, okay, I got it. I'm yeah. Settled. You know, we, we can do this. And I've had from grand parents to grandchildren here and it's still that way and, and it's yep. funny that they go through the whole families and stuff because they suggest you and then i work on referrals i don't right. i'm not with no insurance companies right. you know so that kind of is a good thing because people come because they want me to do the work not that, because they have to I, I was just going to say that that's a really big deal and cars uh you know i, I come from a car family so right and when you have your guy that's like a doctor. Yeah. That's your guy. Yeah. And that's a big, big deal. Cause it you, is. You trust him, and you just like, you drop the car off, and you pick it up. Yeah. And you know it's in good hands. And we clean the insides for everybody. We detail them and everything. Every car gets detailed that goes out of here. That's awesome. Everyone. My son does the detailing and stuff. Which that's I'm, a really good service. Yeah, yeah. Right. And they come in here in the wintertime, and you know, you don't clean your car in the winter. <laughs> Nobody does. We <laughs> clean their car for them. They come here, and you know, we got a lot of women that are professional women that, right. you know, work at the county and stuff. Sure. So we make sure their cars are spotless, you know? 90% awesome. of my business is women. Exactly. So you got to, you know, be on your toes with women yeah. because they'll yeah. keep you on your toes. Yeah, they will. They're very detail-oriented. But they're awesome they're because right. if you got a woman that likes your work, they'll tell their yep. girlfriends and dot, dot. And it's worked out that way. Sure. It really has. So that's built my business for the 35 years that's with women. Awesome. It really has. Now, it's uh, predominantly a body shop. Yes. But it's all you, body shop. It's with all body. Yeah. Um, and then you, you do inspections and stuff too, though, right? No. No registration. All we do is body work and detail. In detail. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And I do some mechanical work on the cars that I work on. Okay. Because I, I can do just about anything. Sure. So. It's just a matter of like, just, yeah, being around for is. so long. Yeah, right. I did mechanical work as a kid, you know, like right. I said. And then I always, my brother always did mechanical work. My father did mechanical. So I kind of learned from them, you know. Sure. And then I got into this part, and I love this part. Yeah. I do. I think it's the most fun. And like we were saying before we started shooting, having something physical that somebody could see. And people are so appreciative. You know, they get into a, a little body 
rack here, yeah. and it really hurts. You, you know, if it's a lease, it's a killer. You do leases, right? I mean, right. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And then if they own it, and you're like, man, it's my car. And a lot of times, our cars in this, you know, in America, it's a big deal. It's your car. It it's like your house and your car. They're expensive. Yep, and to have it crunched up is a big deal, and to get it back and look beautiful right. is a really big deal. And you got And another thing with this business, you got to use the best material. You got to use the best paint. You can't use junk. There's no way of doing that in life. I got my own mixing lab. I mix my own paints. I tint my own paints. Yeah, do all that. I do. I got a very good eye for matching. That's a big very, deal. Yeah, it is because a lot of guys are colorblind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm colorblind. Yeah, red, green. I, yeah. Red, green. I couldn't match to save my life. Yeah. So, but that takes a lot of years. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. I went to a school. There was a certificate. Okay, with the PPG paint, and I went up there. And all these guys were there, all the guys. And so we had to do the scale of brighter and all this and all the different colors. I'm the only man ever to get all the reds white because wow. uh, men cannot see reds properly yep. through their eyes. I've got the whole scale right. They brought the director out. They brought the, uh, the, the uh, main man out and looked at my thing that I got that right first. That's a big deal. Yeah, it was. They were excited. Yeah. They red, thought, that's awesome. You know, red is a really, even if you have good vision, red is a hard color. Man. Yeah. And there's so much into that, uh, the hue and the tone. Right. And if yeah. you know anything about car paints and stuff, in, uh, like DuPont and all of them, all their labs is all women. Women are in their lab for their that. paint. Yeah, it's all women. Because they got something special in their eye when they, th th that they can see colors that men can't. They're really good I colors. think I got women's eyes. <laughs> and, but, you know, I've been here for a long time. I mean, I've been in Westfield probably 40 years, being wow. around this area for over 40 some years. I've wow. been, cause I've been with my wife since she was 14. Really? Yeah, so. Yeah, we, you look a lot younger though. Yeah, I, I'm 64. I really? Yeah, I'm one of the oldest body men around. <laughs> But I'll never, I'll never retire. I don't see me retiring because I love what I do. Yeah, you know what? I feel the same way. I'm happy. Yeah, that's a good yeah. career. And you love what you do. That makes the difference. Change People I see every day go to work saying, I hate, I don't want to go to work. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't think this is work. I come here every day. This is fun for me. I come in the shop. I do what I want to do, you know. I take care of my customers. I, I love it when the job's done. I'm so happy with it, you know. Yeah. People are happy. That's the best life. Yeah, and I like to see a smile on somebody's face. That's why I do what I do, because people are happy when you take well, care of them. Well, and it's a whole mystery to almost everybody. Yeah. What you do. Yeah. And it's magic, really. To a lot of people, you're like, you bring a car in, it's trash, and you leave, it looks awesome. So yeah, what else? And it's, and, and it's nothing to me. I mean, it, it's, it's so you easy, you know, right. for me. And can you, when you uh, get a car in, you can see like probably like because you've done it for so long and you've done it so well, you know exactly like what needs to get done, pretty much. Oh, pretty much. Like you can look at it and say, "Got it." Know exactly yeah. How we're gonna work on this and how yeah. long it'll take. Yeah, because I can look at a car and write an estimate and be pretty damn close. Unless it's inside, then you'll have to, you know, get supplements. When you tear a car apart, if there's okay. inner damage, you know, you got to take care. But sure, that's, sure. that's part of this business. You got it. You'll have supplements. Oh, all, all the interior. So if it's like right. a door and it's crushed and you right. have to work on the interior quarter. But, but you may but, not know what's behind there exactly. It's crushed until you tear the front sure. bumper off or whatever. And each job. that's just Every common. job is different. Yeah. There's yeah. no two that are the same. And that's what I love about it because right. I never do the same thing every day. Right. I always do something different. Right. So I'm never bored. Right. You know, so that's what I like about this. Yeah, I'm never bored. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. And it's getting rare. It is. It is. It's, it's rarer you, and rarer. I'm old school. I can straighten stuff still. A lot of these new body shops you go to, they'll replace parts. They won't straighten. They won't help okay. save a buck. I mean, I, I'll try to help save some people money because it's a poor area. So I'll try to help them save some money if I can straighten sure. something instead of replacing it. That's you know, I give them a break. He did yeah. the same thing. It was, uh, like I said, it was an 1800 dollars job. Yeah. And he straightened it out instead of putting a whole new Right. Thing, you know, and it really just started my life in Massachusetts. And it looked great. Yeah. Because oh, the guy knew what he was doing. looked better. He, uh, I don't know what the heck he did with that. It was a, a little teeny geo. Yeah. They're you know, like tin foil. Yeah. So it was a mess. The yeah. one was a mess and the quarter for a quarter was a mess. It looked beautiful. And got that's it. awesome. You know, and that's what this is all about for you. Yeah. Just that one. Right. For 35 years I've been here, I've never lost a customer. Um, Never. And you pride, and it's the same thing with me, like you pride yourself on that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's very important to me. I tell people if you have a problem, come see me. 
Don't talk behind my back. Yeah, 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 I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Yeah. Well, if you know, because I'm not perfect. Nobody's no, perfect. You things know? happen. But I try to, you know, fix right. my problems. If I got a problem near, I fix it. Yep. I don't let it go out. You know, I take care of it then. Why? See? Yeah, you have to take care of people. You got to. You yeah. got. I mean, if you got a problem, you got to take care of it now yeah. because they'll you tell somebody else, and then your business starts going down if you don't take it's care of them. Will. And, um, it will. It will. It'll one, drop you. Yeah, it's a one person. And so that's, that's why I take pretty good pride of being here 35 years because it's a very small area. A People team. knows everybody. Everybody right. knows everybody. Sure. So I can't complain. I've been one of the longest body shops around here, yeah, so I can't awesome. complain. Now, so uh, is there anything that's your specialty in the context of body work? I do fiberglass work. Okay. A lot of guys don't do fiberglass right. work. I do that. I work on boats. I work on RVs. Oh, you do? So oh, you yeah. Do I, I do all that stuff. Everything. So I do a lot of aspects of a lot of different things. So you'll do work on it because there's a harbor down here. And there's right. so much water access here. Right. And I do boats and I do, like I say, RVs. That's a big thing. You know, I just did a guy uh, out of uh, Jamestown. He owns Windstream um, uh, um, cable and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I did his. He had a real fancy one. He couldn't believe how I fixed that thing. He I got hit by a semi. Oh, you did? He did. He got, he got, he <laughs> took his corner off and I fixed his vehicle. He, could, he couldn't believe how I matched the paint oh, and everything awesome. on and it. And our, our, our piece had to be hard work on it, right? And they're big. Yeah, because of this. And there's lots of different yeah. colors. <laughs> so you got to, and you got to make your own colors because it just is one standard color. So you got to tint your own colors and match them. Yeah, because they all have those like weird paint jobs. Weird paint jobs, yeah. There's lots of color on that. Yeah. So now, do you do the painting too? Oh yeah, I do everything. Wow, so it's just you. I do everything. I do. I do everything. I do the body work. I do the prep work. I do the. I clean the vehicles afterwards. I paint them. I. That's I do it all. You know what? I can't find nobody to do this work. You can't find no young people sure. to do this well, you work. Did fiberglass. That's yeah, a big, big that's a big one. Yeah, because nobody does fiberglass work. Nobody, and I love fiberglass work. It's the easiest stuff to work with. I mean, you got to know what you're doing, but that's it's, it's, it's easy to work with for me. You got to know like how to use yeah. The material. Right? Yeah, and you got to you got to know how to layer it. You right. got to know how to do it, but. Like I said, I enjoy what I'm doing. I've been doing it for 46 years of my life, and I love what I do. And you've been in the same location. Right, right? same location for 35 so, and, and years. where are we, just so that we have... Uh, we're between Mayville and Westfield, New York, about halfway in between the two townships. Which is a great location. Right, I'm in the middle of nowhere, but yet I'm in the but middle of everywhere. middle of everything, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in this area. Yeah, because we got little towns all over. Yeah. See, and I'm in the middle of everybody, about 25 miles, of, even from Jamestown, I'm only 25 miles away. So that's not bad at all. No, I know. I pull people in from Buffalo. Wow. I pull people in from all over the United States when they come up to Chautauqua. If you here. have a guy, <laughs> it doesn't, I, seriously, if you, pull, if you have a car guy and he's good, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just go to him. I had a guy that come here from Texas. He would wait to come up here to have his work. He would not have anybody else touch his vehicle. And he was a pure Texan. And he'd come up here in the summer and had me do his work. That's awesome. You know, yeah. and then I had, uh, uh, there was a uh, 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 orchestra conductor out of New York City. His name was Hank Aaron. Mm -hmm. He'd come here all the time. It was actually Hank Aaron was his name. And he'd be the, he'd be the orchestra leader down here in Chautauqua. So I would do all his work, and he, him and I, I mean, he passed away. So that's too bad now, but he was an older man, but we had a lot of fun. That's awesome. He was yeah. awesome, but and he I, would not let anybody touch his car. Yeah, because like I said, you've got a guy that you can trust, and this business is a big deal. It, it is. Mechanics, electrical, yeah. body, you just take it to him. You drop it, don't worry about it. That's why I yeah. tell you about insurance companies. They shouldn't, they, they try to steer you to these their shops, and you right. don't get the work you do in a private shop sure. like mine. Sure. It's shoddy work. They in and out because they pack them so heavy with work. And it's not about the quality no it's, it's just about quantity done. yeah, yeah. get it done get, get out the door get the bottom line off. that's where we go like i say it's a dying trade and it's it a is. shame i don't know who's going to take over this because a lot of the body men i know are from like 40s on up there's very few young guys that Why, are doing it what do you attribute that to i i, I think because it takes so much to learn it so many years and right? you don't have a lot of pay to start out with so the pay isn't there as much as it is that you know you got to get your experience sure. before you make the money you know what that's what this is well, cool. i'm all self-taught so, that's the best way though it is i think so i think so just like right you probably did my my friend don again self-taught yeah. self-taught 16 years right my yeah. best buddy self-taught because you really have to it's a different headspace right? right and i had a guy in florida his name was elby and he was in my shop in Florida. And he taught me more. He took me under his wing. For some reason, this guy was awesome. He was what? awesome. Was One of the best body men I've ever seen. Yeah. And he liked me. And I was a kid. And he brought me in there. And he taught me. And he showed me what to do and showed me how to do right. it. 
I came back here and people couldn't believe the difference in what I learned in one year. That's the one trades, year. though, right? Yeah. You had the right guy. Right that guy. Was mentoring you yeah. in the trades. And yeah. we don't really get that much anymore. No, you don't. You know? And no. you know, I always watch this old house on uh, TV. Right. And they just had a thing with the guy who does dirty jobs, Mike. Uh, oh, yeah, Mike Rowe. Yeah, yeah, and they were talking about, like, they, they did this special specifically to try to, like, inspire kids because they showed the stats on, like, whether it was this or bricklaying or just kids just don't go to the no. And you know what? They need trades. They need kids to get into these trades. Yeah. You're not getting this. plumbers. You're not getting welders. You're not getting that, none of that Body stuff. Car- guys, yeah, stuff. nothing. It's you know? a shame. And you can't just have these big like corporations that are in line pretty much owned by an insurance company. Right. right? It doesn't even if it's a homeowner situation. Yeah. Too. These guys come in and do shoddy work. You know, you want it done right the first time, and I do it right the first time. That's plain and simple. That's you awesome. do it right, you know? So, and uh, you live right near you, too. So yeah, I live, yeah. I, I used to live a mile down the road here, but then we inherited my wife's home down in Westfield, so now we live in Main Street in Westfield, but I've been there for 20 years really? now. It's yeah. I'm done. So yeah, I, when I first started here, it was 84 hours a week at least to 92 a week. Wow. When I first started, because I didn't know what I was doing, yeah, you know. Yeah. Now, you know, now I've cut back in life, but I'm still, I, sure. can, I can do as much work now as I did back then and half the time. It's just, right, but yeah, it, exactly. Scheduling, right, yep. knowing what you're doing. Yes, exactly. You yeah. have to. And then the work, just, you're so good at it. It's probably second nature for uh, the better part. It of is, like you, good. you know, yeah. you're just second nature to you because yeah. you're good at what you do. Yeah, and, and you, you like it. You do. So, yeah. And that's the thing. I think that's the differentiator, too. Like when you really love what you do, it shows in your work. Yes, it you does. Know? Because that just trains. Just like the body. It's like anything. You're a baker. You do body work. Right. You, you know. know. Yeah. You do know. But somebody's yeah. awesome at their job. Yeah. You know. And yeah. you can see that you love what you do. It's awesome. Oh, I love it. You know. And that's so cool. I Because that's just like you can love this guy. Da, 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 and you're, <laughs> you're the quintessential. Like this is what it's about. Yeah. Super small businesses. One to six people. Yeah. Been around for a while. Part of the community. And love what you do. Yeah. And I love what I do. And people like me. And I like them. And it works out good. That's it awesome. really does. So. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, there's nothing worse than get. And you know this. You're a car guy. It's your business. There's nothing worse than get your car back. And you get in. And two days later you get the same problem or something wasn't done. And then you go complain about it and they don't care or oh, whatever. Yeah. We'll take care of it, but they never oh, do. It's such a ball bust. Yeah, <laughs> it's you're bad. Like, oh, you're killing me. And there's nothing really you could do at that point. And then you got to no. go back through the whole process again. And then if it's insurance, you forget it. And then if they don't match the paint, then you go around with cut car right. with two different colored paint, you know. So you yeah. have all the gear here for all of that. Everything. Like straightening, you got all the. I got a frame machine. I got, I mean, for being a little shop, I get everything done. Awesome. I got my own mixing machine set up. I mix my own paints. I tint my own paints. I do all that stuff. I love it. Yeah, that's I'm really a chemist, cool. and I wasn't even going to school for chemistry, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but I love it. I do. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah. You know, and you're a person that they're dealing with. I'm here all the time. And people love that. Yeah. It's the same thing in the restaurant. If somebody showed up and we weren't there, which was never, but if they came from my mom and she was there, they came from me, if they get weird because they're anticipation. It's not that they know that you're a slave to the business. Right. But it's your business. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm people and I get along good, and I and I talk to my customers, and I explain to them. Right. If they want to come see their work being done, come on in and show up. Awesome. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. That's You know what? That's the best thing to do. Look at yeah. what I do. In our restaurant, we did the same.